good afternoon all myself professor milin kansara assistant professor in electrical engineering department rngpit college bardoli uh, today we have dr nikunj patel sir also we have ram mistri sir from the rngpit college and professor chinmay desai head of the electrical engineering department rngpit college bardoli i request ram sir to for the further process ram sir thank you milin sir uh, good afternoon one and all uh, myself ram mistri assistant professor electrical engineering department rng patel institute of technology bardoli heartily welcomes you all on this webinar occasions today we have arranged a webinar on introductions to finite analysis elements using ansys software and its utilizations in learning teaching and research for that we have today an eminent personality dr nikunj r patel head of electrical engineering department sasset college surat sir we are welcoming you on behalf of entire oh, rng pit oh, family okay and uh, i also would like to uh, welcome our uh, head of department professor chinmayi desai sir professor milin kansara sir and uh, all webinar invitee so before moving ahead i would like to give brief introductions about uh, dr nikunj uh, patel sir sir is right now working as an head of electrical engineering department sasset college surat sir has completed his diploma engineering from ss gandhi college surat sir has completed his bachelor of engineering from svmit baruch uh, another more achievement is sir has completed post graduate uh, electrical engineering from nirma university ahmedabad and finally the big achievement of entire academians uh, that is uh, doctorate degree sir has completed this phd degree from svmit surat sir one second congratulations on behalf of everyone now moving ahead i would also like to introduce the big achievement of nikunj r patel sir sir has more than 14 years of vast experience in academia as well as one years in industries as well sir has published numerous paper and in at international journals and conference and national platforms as well sir has published more than 3 books at uh, organizations with collaborations sir has earned numerous number of sttps fdps workshops expert lectures this is always remarkable sir uh, the words are not enough to describe your uh, every achievements so uh, once again we are feeling so fortunate enough today to have you as our uh, expert sir uh sir thank you so much for being with us and uh, right now with us uh please uh, encourage us and enrich us with your hard earned knowledge moving ahead uh before i would like to invite professor chinmayi desai sir to give some uh, uh, introductions about today's webinar after that sir please you can carry on professor chinmayi desai sir sir please chin me sir ram sir can you repeat hello professor chin me di desai sir please uh, give some about introductions of this today's webinar few introductions and invite you over today's expert sir I think sir has some net issue. Hello. Uh, Ram sir, I think we have to start Hello. this session. Okay. Hand over to the Hello. Nikun sir. Yes, sir. Nikun sir, please. Uh, Let's start over today's yes, session. Podium is yours, sir. Please. Milin. Okay. Okay.
हेलो आई रिक्वेस्ट निकुन सर टू स्टार्ट दी सेशन डॉक्टर इन प्रिंट कार्ड निकुन सर थैंक यू वेरी मच यस सर इन योर यस सर हेलो निकुन सर यस यस सर यू आर एंड इट्स यूटिलाइजेशन इन लर्निंग टीचिंग एंड हाँ आई हैव स्टार्टेड यस सर बट पीपीटी इज नॉट विजिबल सर देर इज अ फोल्डर एक्सपर्ट लेक्चर एम आई ऑन हेलो यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल Now yes, okay, sir. Yes, sir. PPT is visible completely. Your voice is also clear. Hello. The flow of today's presentation is: What is FEM? What is ANSYS? We discuss little bit about the FEM and the ANSYS software. Which one is helpful to the finite element mathers to the finite element analysis? Finite element analysis by the help of different case studies. How it applicable in electrical engineering? Here in this webinar, I will mainly focus on the elect electrical engineering application. Then we will discuss further. Further, we take the example of the SRM switch reluctance models and little bit for the permanent magnet machine. For the ANSYS softwares, then of course, if time permit, then we go for the simple simulations on the ANSYS software. And of course, I need some promises from your side at the end of this entire session. So the question is, which quality is required for the learning, teaching, and research in the education field? Of course, the main and importance is a thought process. the teachers or a students must be idea in them mind but what's a problem for the implementation idea is become just an idea never comes from then they is idea if we uh, if we go to the some other personality who has the financial support हेलो निकुन सर
हेलो हाँ सर अभी ज्वाइन करो ना सर लेफ्ट से ही हेलो ना ना सर लेफ्ट से सब पीपीटी में भी हो गया यस निकुल सर यू कैन कंटिन्यू पीपीटी इज विजिबल यस सर विजिबल तो वी टेक द एग्जांपल ऑफ द फॉर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ the learning teaching and research how we teach to the students generally we take a example we prepare the one animation and for that purpose here i have put up a one animation of the srm motors switch reluctance machines where we can easily visualize that when we excite a pole in a sequential manner then according to that the rotor is rotated and the machine will rotate and this is very easy to understand but if we go for the uh, particular analysis then we cannot justify the students that the in every condition how magnetic field is distributed we cannot justify that the how the current vectors comes into the pictures we cannot justify the how magnetic flux density is there we cannot justify that the what is the torque profile of that particular machine we cannot justify that the all dynamic conditions of that particular machines for that purpose we need a some fem softwares or a fem analysis here in this how six poles and two pole in rotors if someone has a idea that if we increase the number of pole at a stators like this and number of pole at a rotors then what's happen and what is the output of that particular machine if we want to identify that things so for that purpose we have to design the entire machine in a laboratory and it's not possible so fem tool and software is give us the platform where we can design that machines according to our idea and we can analyze it according to our ideas and then we can justify to the students or the other people's our idea so it is really helpful for the research pro process like this actually the videos are available but it's not possible to display at here so i have just put up the some figures that this is the finite element it means the entire geometry divided into the small parts and every part if we analyze and then we integrate then we got the perfect result like this this is the flux distributions in the switch reluctance motors which we have visualized in our ideas similar this one is also the one type of machines where that the particular aligned and unaligned condition is displayed now if we have to put up the wheel at outer side and rotor at a on the rotors then for that purpose also here we can visualize and we can represent among the students so this is really helpful to the research like this if you want to num change the number of pole if you want to change the size of that particular pole if we play with the geometry then we can do it and if the someone has the idea that how to increase the torques then we can easily do it by using of this software 
so the question is what is fem fem it is nothing it is a just a conventional methods which we have already used suppose to we have to weight that 25 kg sugars with this particular 5 kg weight then how it possible so of course what we do we just take a 5 kg for a 5 times and then it means we have discretization we have discretizations that the weight the similarly the discretization it is a one type of finite element matters in particular electrical waveforms there are the two types of uh, waves two types of current that the one is ac and dc so you know that the if by using of dc we want to produce the ac then what we have to do we have to continuously we have to discretize that particular dc in the different level then we easily find out the ac so ultimately what is discretization in applied mathematics discretization is the process of transferring continuous functions models variables and equations into the discrete counterparts this process is usually carried out as a first step toward the making them suitable for the numerical values and implementations of the digital computers so classification of discretization method basically three types finite difference method finite element methods and finite volume methods the finite difference method it is the oldest one and the newly people are using is a finite element methods it's most popular nowadays and the people are do as usual the new research so the people are diverted to the finite volume methods but it's not mature so today we focusing on finite element methods the difference between the finite fdm fem and fvm if you look from this geometry then fdm it is it is differentiate when the surface entire surface is possible to distributed in a symmetric part then it's possible to search by uh, analyze by using of the fdm if the geometry is not possible to divide it in the very equal parts then the fvm it is utilized and if we analyze based on the volumes based on the volumes of particular small particles then it is a fvm what is the difference the fdm fem and fvm the basically of course fvm the till not clear that which are the features of course it has the combined features but at now the fvm has a mass conversations complex core structures and computational inefficiency is that and this one is a more useful and it is a irregular geometrical matching so this is the main advantages of the fvm so now the finite element modeling what is the finite element modeling it involves taking a continuous structures and cutting it into the several small elements and describe the each of the small elements by the simple algebraic equation this equation are then assemble for the structures and the field quantities is solved so of course look at here if this geometry if we divide it into the number of parts and then we analyze the individual job parts and then we integrate then we can easily find out the area of that particular figure similarly in a next one look the symmetry is uh, the geometry is not symmetrical so for that purpose if we want to remove the volumes we have to find out the volumes of that particular uh, per, uh, particular uh, face and for that purpose the, the such kind of analysis we have to do the similar for the three dimensional view here the depth is considered so here when we need in some cases the 3d analysis is required so let me identify that the which type of fem matters the first one is a one dimensional id it means the 1d you have considered the single line then the road elements and beam elements come under the one dimensional then two dimensional analysis it means the x axis and y axis then the three dimensional x y and z it means we consider the depth also and this is some are the spatial elements which not comes under the 1 2 and 3 it doesn't mean but it's 
covered one, two, three, but it has the sum. Other com combinations of the two axes is considered under the special. It may be a 4D and 5D we have considered. So each of the elements have an associate stiffness matrix, the different degree of freedom, of course, because that the when we put up the every geometry in particular environments, the result is different. If we put up a, ourselves on a earth and ourselves on a moon, then in both of the conditions, the weight is something different. So similarly, linear, quadratic, and cubic approximations for the displacement of fade. So look at here, the complete figures about the different discretization. So one dimensional, two dimensional, and three dimensional. In case of the one dimensional, we have prepared the frame structures. In case of the two dimensional here, the in-depth is not considered. In a two dimensional, we have considered the triangulars. We have a different type of triangular we have considered and we divided the entire geometry in a triangle. Then three dimensional, we have considered the different square bricks and we have tried to analyze this system. So let me take the one small examples about the FEM, the process. The determine the displacement at the material interfaces simplify by the modeling the material as a springs. So look at here that the C, there are the two different materials like this and two different material are used to manufacturing the spring. Now, if we want to find out that if we apply the F to 20 kilonewtons and F3 is a 30 kilonewtons on this two particular point, then what's the displacement of a N2 and what is the displacement of a N3? So how to measure it? This is a control system, simple examples. So what we do? We can never measure the combined force. First, what we do? We analyze for the N1, we analyze the four distance of the N2 and we analyze at the N3 and then we come up to provide the combination of all. So similarly, this is the FEM process which we apply to look at here at the N1, N2 and N3. We find out the three different equations and we analyze it and then we, we have make our matrix of the three different equations and we have identified that the displacement of the N1, it is a nearest to zero because it is a bounded and X2 and X3 we can easily find out. Now different FEM analysis software. So look at here, in market, there are the many softwares are available. NCS Maxwell, Magnet, Opera, Quickfield, Ilmer, then the Catron 3D, and the many more softwares. The some more softwares are Algor, NCS, and Cosmos are also available. But today, we just discussing on the ANSYS Maxwell. In the ANSYS Maxwell, we can engineering, we just take up small examples by using of this all figures. First, in automobile engineering, we are able to analyze the aeroplanes, jet planes, as well as the motors for the different conditions. We can also identify that the what will be the effect if our particular vehicle is striking with some object. So all things without any type of the physical strike. Similarly, the modeling and the drug coefficient of the spheres we can identify in the any type of the environments. Then electricals and magnetic analysis and heat analysis is possible for the any type of the electrical geometries or equipments. Then the in case of the civil engineering, look, this is the reactor building. So if due to the certain reason, the internal force is exceed, then how much force is carried by this particular wall at the every places we can calculate by by using of this FEM analysis without type any type of the physical structure. Similarly, 
before designing that bridge, we can just, it means before manufacturing or installing that bridge, we can just analyze on which part uh, the structure is maybe a weaker and it which part we have to more take care. Similarly in defense, similarly for the mechanical, all type of the mechanical uh, geometries or mechanical machines, we can analyze by using of this particular software. It is also applicable for the medical field. So look at here, in a medical field, it's very easy to understand that the what, which parts of the body is infected by the some things or it's abnormal. Then the wireless charging systems, you know that nowadays the electrical vehicles, it's most popular and this may be the futures of the transportation. Then the piston, it is a automobile industries. And transformers, we can analyze three phase, single phase, then transformer for the electrical motors, then relay, and many more applications we can perform on this ANSYS software. So look at here. The ANSYS software, if we're focusing for the electrical engineering, then electromagnetic waves, it is a main and important task which the analyzed by that particular software. And for that purpose, there are basically in electrical engineering two types we can segregate, the low frequency analysis and high frequency analysis. In case of the low frequency analysis, we have considered that the tidal energy, tidal generators, then the pantographs, it means the electrical vehicles and the particular transformers. High frequency analysis application, it means the perform integrations and the RCS. Then antennas, then the integrated mobile devices, then the biometrics and the commercial platform integrations, it's applicable. How helpful in electrical engineering? So of course, in electrical engineering, we know that electrical engineers has basically the two parameters, voltage and current, and basically the elements, inductor, capacitor, and resistors. I think the entire electrical engineering is designed. So if we segregate then power systems, different type of machines, different type of measuring equipments concerned with the electrical engineering, control engineering, high voltage protections, and in every field, the finite element analysis is applicable. So this is the big platform for utilize the finite element analysis and implement in a real Field. Look at here the some examples of the electrical engineering, the motors, then the particular transformers, transmission lines, it means the bushing are there, the insulating disc, then are circuit breakers, then the pneumatics, different types of valves and solenoids, then the generators, then cable, then the connectors, then a different type of integrated circuit. Then the wind turbines we have considered and, and that the fighter planes. It has also the lots of elect electronic gadgets are used. So in case of the electrical machine analysis, in electrical machines, if we focusing then the induction machine, synchronous machine, brushless DC machine, permanent magnet DC motors, switch electrons motor, line start, permanent magnet motors, universals motor, and the alternators and doubly feed induction generator. This all type of machines we can analyze by using of the ANSYS software. We have to just prepare the whatever the geometry in our mind with the concern motor structures, and we have to provide the materials, we have to provide the environments, and we have to excite it. Then we can get the how much talks and what will be the performance of that machine without any type of the 
manufacturing of that particular machine. Now, for the short circuit analysis, we can do in any type of the machine, and we are able to measure that the core loss is OCC, FET, XD, it means the quadrature axis, then the copper losses. We can consider it by using of that particular software. The transformer analysis. We can also analyze the different types of transformers. Suppose to we want to increase the size of the middle limb, then that thing of that transformers, it is a we can easily measure the core losses, then inherent current, then we can also analyze the FFT, then the tank wall, and everything we can do by using of this particular software. The circuit breakers, we can also design that circuit breaker. You know that the number of time, the, if the circuit breaker is failed, then it's maybe the entire power system is done. So for that purpose, the circuit breaker and the field and force analysis Field and force analysis we have to produce. It is also applicable for the air core reactors. We can analyze that if we number of turns with the thickness of that particular conductors, then we can analyze. Three phase core inductors. Similarly, we are able to design, you know that if we want to design the one inductor, then it is very difficult to design the inductor. And for that purpose, what we have to do? We have to we have to do the lots of calculations and we have to try and error. But here, by using of this software, we just increase the number of terms, thickness, and everything we set. We prepare the geometry and we can do that inductance we can calculate and we can design the any type of the inductor now electrostatic analysis so look at here in transformers the boosting if we can able to plot the v and e plot for the big size of the transformers and we can uh, plot that the bushing and insulators then variable re reluctance sensors you know that in some special motors it's we require some controller and for guided that controller we require some sensor and the sensors we can design according to our application by using of this particular electromagnetic analysis now the optimization of all so look sometime what's happened we have to optimize the systems in different manners Supposed to, we have the one geometry, prepared geometry, and from the very many years we utilize it. But now, if we want to reduce the size of that particular machine, supposed to we take a one example of the induction motor, and if we want to reduce the size of that existing induction motor, then how it possible? So for that purpose, this software is useful to us. If we decrease the diameters gradually, then what will be the effect of that particular motor performance? We can easily identify by using of this software. Now the coupling. Coupling, it means what? You know that the coupling, it is two types of coupling. We consider that the mechanical coupling, but not only the mechanical, but electrical coupling are also that. Electrical coupling, the main and important thing is a electromagnets magnetically coupled so we can also analyze that the magnetic coupling now the complete solution the complete solution is that this is the ANSYS is the software where it provides the entire things on a one platform in this ANSYS the single machine not only we can design the machine but we can also design that particular controller and that controllers by using of that controllers we are able to excite that particular machine and we can also identify that if we changing in the controller side then what will be the effect on the machine this is the unique features of that particular ansys software 
of course every software has a, some limitations here also the fea software has some limitations the fea software require the high definition pc with the good speed especially for the 3d analysis the result of this software is not up to the 100% but it's with a 5 to 10 percentage error so it give you the complete idea about your particular geometries the operator or user must know the concept of the software plus theory because if you don't know that what you are going to analyze then without it you cannot implement it in real manner it is a time consuming process if you go for the 3d analysis because when we go for the 3d analysis then the number of elements are increased so for that purpose the software it means a, a particular software has to do the may, uh, more numerical equation solve so for it require the more time now the application the method was originally developed to study the stresses in complex air form structures its use metallurgies solid works for the mechanical engineering structure balance force and stress in the civil engineering ic analysis antenna analysis for the ec and of course in medical field all and the chemical industry it is applicable the case studies just we take a one small case study hello yes sir yes sir you are audible i am audible sir yes sir yes completely okay, okay then i continue okay sir if we take a small example of switched reluctance motors so look at here if this is a 8 by 6 structures it means the 8 pole at a stator side and a 6 pole at a rotor side now how it works so of course when we excite the particular phase then according to that our rotor will take the positions if i excite the b phase in place of a then what's happen as per the set step angle my motor rotor will move and take the align conditions of b now if we excite the c then look at here this one is unaligned conditions so what's happen if i excite the c then it's move like this similarly for rd and the one particular cycle is complete so now in this particular motors if someone has the idea that if we change the stator pole in a permanent magnets or a rotor pole in a permanent magnets supposed to in the same geometry this is the srm it means here the no permanent magnet is used so of course it has the some particular output but if we just change the rotor with up replace with the permanent magnet and the particular six poles we converted we change with the permanent magnet so of course this motor will be become a permanent magnet brushless dc machine so in this machine the perf performance is goes up or performance is goes down if we use the permanent magnet so these things we can analyze without any type of the manufacturing and we can also justify it and we then after us we go for the manufacture if we find the satisfactory answer so look at here the pm bldc machines in this pm bldc machines my rotor is rotated this is only for the conceptually purpose so look in previous case whatever the things we have applied for the srn the similarly at here here we have replaced this permanent magnet so in this if we in, 
and the question is if we changing the size of that permanent magnet that what's happened anyone can predict and how we explain to the other persons if we are the faculty members then how we explain to the students and if we students and we have the idea then how we justify or uh, how we find out that answers so for that purpose the fem software nc software is useful where you have to prepare the same geometry and you have to just increase the size of that particular magnetic pole and you can easily identify that what is the performance result look the ansys beauty is it provide the platform for the controller as well as the motor it means if we go for the other softwares we have already used that in that software i am not giving the name of the any type of the software but it's a uh, number of softwares are used in electrical engineering but all are provide the single platform if we design able to design the controller then not possible to design the motors we have to adopt it the whatever the mathematical structures of motor are given we have to simply adopt it but in this particular nc software we free to design our geometry our motors and we free to analyze or we free to excite by our controller so this is the beauty of this particular uh, nc software now nc software has the main and important things it's divided into the three parts one is basically a rm expert rm expert is specially helpful to the students and faculty because the some prepared geometries are given at here here you can visualize the two geometry 8 by 6 structures of srm and the sm bldc 24 by 4 uh, permanent magnet uh, permanent magnet machine and these two machines are adopted from that particular rm expert where the geometries are given and the facility is we can analyze and we can play with the size of that pole we can play with the outer diameters of that particular uh, uh, stator we can also change the inner diameters of that particular rotor we can also change the teeth size of that particular stator as well as rotor so it's give us the complete freedom to change in this geometries every parts but the limitation is we cannot go beyond the certain specific values it means here the 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 look at here every stator and rotor both of the side the even numbers but if we go want to go for the odd number then here not possible so for that purpose the new software they have given their new platform they have given it is a maxwell maxwell 2d and maxwell 3d where you free to design the any type of the geometry and you can analyze here i have just present the rm experts two different geometry and this controllers by using of this controller we excite it and we got the result and b hello sir your voice is breaking sir can you turn off your video sir hello hello हेलो 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 टू मच हाई
now we the software is also gives the different types of waveforms and from this waveform we can easily identify that the performance of that particular machine here the 8 by 6 srms waveforms are given here also the some waveforms are given look at here we can easily identify i am not describing we have designed and analyze now the scope of this is the concern with the how to teach the students now i have take the one examples of the scope of research which specially we have performed the due to the low cost srm is able to replace the bldc motor so future scope in axial flux srm with the better efficiency this is the one statement which we have identify actually when we started our research our team has started the one research they have identify the two motors srm and bldc motors and both are perfectly fitted for the permanent magnet both are perfectly fitted for this electrical vehicle but the question is which one is more suitable and for that purpose we have analyze and we identify that srm it is a very a very low cost machines especially for machine not for a controller side because here no permanent magnet is used so and in case of the bldc pm bldc machines that the permanent magnet is used so its cost is little bit more so we have diverted to the switch reluctance machines and efficiency is near is to same and the one advantage or disadvantage is concerned with the srm it's the size is little bit more compared to the bldc for the same efficiency but it's not a problem in case of the electrical vehicles so we started the journey with the srm and pm bldc machine and identified the srm mm based now the question is there are the many types of the srm available in a market look at here is the one radial field as observe that six pole are located at a inner side at a rotor side but here the six pole are located at a outer side and the rotor is made by the eight pole structures so look we can easily analyze this machine and we have identified that the what is the performance of that machine without any manufacturing actually this machine is designed by the someones and we are not wasted the money for the just testing of this machine and understanding of this machine so this is the software where we can just analyze this software and we have identify that some limitations that the long flux path more axial length limitations of the winding space low power density and more heating problems and then we have analyzed one more machine which one is already available and designed by the someone it has the some more features but the question is we cannot manufacture it in our laboratory every machine so here also we have prepared the same geometry we have analyzed and we have understand that which are the advantages and disadvantages of this machines look at here this is excited in this manner and we have identified the limitations similarly the one researchers has prepared the srm with a gear mechanism this is the magnetic gear not a mechanical gear now if we want to analyze this machine then it is uh, we have to design this machine then it is very difficult and expensive so for that purpose the software we have just analyzed the same geometry at here what the author has proposed and we have analyzed it and we identify okay what author wants to say and which type of uh, features he has claimed they are are uh, full full or not similarly here we can easily identify that in a conventional this geometry if we just tilted tilted the teeth then also 
if we just tilt it, look at here. In this, this is the straight one. And in second one, this is a tilted little bit. In both of the case, the tilted geometry is give the 12 to 15 percent more efficiency. So it is a good for us, but no one has tried and it's very difficult for the physically try. So here we can easily develop this geometry with our idea. It isn't just an idea that if we tilt it, then what's happened? And it's got to give us the better results. And of course, there, uh, there will be the some concept. Now the pie chart methods. So look at here, it is the pie methods where they provide the path according to the geometries here we can easily identify that this one is a pi method where the simple core single single core is excited and it's create the closed loop as defined in at here the similar at here and similar at here because these two are the aligned conditions and other are look unaligned condition unaligned condition if we now excite this pole then it try to align and it's move according to the particular step angle and motor will rotate the main advantages of this is here the individual core it's not a single core in previous case if we so at here this is the single core but here the individual core so these are the features where we can easily develop and analyze similarly the one author has think beyond it and try to design the axial field machine in place of the radial actually up to the pi core srm uh, whichever the uh, geometry we have analyzed this all are the radial field machine now the axial field machine so basically in axial field machine they have identified that it has a very good efficiency right and it has a very good flow current density which is required for the electrical vehicles and very good torque so why we not go for the that particular geometry so this is the particular axial field machine so now here the journey is stopped it means in market such kind of analysis such kind of machines and such kind of ideas are available now it's on us that we have to fill this box with the question which is given by the question marks we have to create our idea and if you want to you know, create this idea then we need some platform to analyze and ansys is the perfect tools and the fem it is a perfect methods to analyze our idea and justify it so here we are also start with this journey and we have designed these motors with the new idea 8 by 6 axial field srm motors here we can identify that this is the rotor and this one is a c core stator structures an individual core this core is isolated from mechanically and electrically isolated this is also isolated this is also isolated so suppose to this winding as a sum fold then we can easily remove this particular structures so it is a beneficially but we identify that here area is not symmetry so for that purpose we go for the 8 by 6 axial field srm with the new geometry with the little bit changes you can easily judge that which of the changes are occur in this next figures here this one is not symmetry and here this one is a symmetry okay so what's happened here the field is passing uniformly look similarly here if we increase the number of poles, then what's happening? So for that purpose, we have do the new analysis and with a new geometry with the number of poles are increased. And if the number of poles are increased, then what's the effect on the performance of the machine? We have identified the satisfactory geometry, we have analyzed and we got the satisfactory result like this. So for that purpose, first we have analyzed the very simple single core like this. You can easily identify this where we provide the winding and the flux is passing in this manner and this pole is moving around it. So we can easily find out that how it's moved and what is the flux density across this entire core. Now we have excited the three poles simultaneously 
okay right we can easily find out that the flux density at the every core similarly at here the some videos are also available but due to the certain reason it's not possible to show you now once we identify and once we sure about that particular output then we start to design that particular geometry and we have implemented in real manners in our laboratory we have tested it and surprisingly we got the nearest to same result so if directly we design this machine then it is very difficult and very expensive but we have started our journey with the very single ideas and we uh, we move in particular this manners and then afters we reach to our final destination so this is the tool where we can do it of course the time is very limited so i cannot cover the entire things and i cannot um, demonstrate that the analysis but it's maybe in nearest futures it's possible similarly this controllers which we have used for excited so look at here this machine is excited by this controller and we can change the excitations of that it is a very simple controller the complicated controllers are also possible to design in that particular software so look these are the waveforms which we have generated look at here at every speed we have it means the real time simulation is also possible in this particular machine in this particular uh, software look talk speed characteristic output powers versus speed characteristic then the speed efficiency characteristic right then this is the temperature it means here we can also analyze the temperatures in our machines when we started our machines with the physical current and excitations it's not go beyond the 50 degree temperatures and this is the our simulator simulations waveform so both are near is to same only the 5 degree it is a difference so it's good for uh, good results of the particular analysis similarly this is the result from the positions of the current characteristic we can consider according to the position if my rotor is change the position according to the excitations then what is a waveform we can easily visualize similarly for the torque characteristic so all type of analysis we can do by using of this fem software and it is too much easy and the method is very simple we have to just prepare the geometry we have to assign the materials we have to assign the excitation excitation it means the current and everything in which manners we want and we have to just run the machines and we got the output so now the design procedure it is a mathematical analysis fem 2d and 3d and and the hardware results we finalize this geometry we have tested and we got the same why i have put up these pictures because i want to prove that that i, I have utilized the softwares with in that manners which i have presented it here now the practical sessions on the srm srm pmb ldc induction machine and three phase the all things are available in that particular softwares but at now you know, as per the demand of that webinar i am not presenting it because of the limitations of time so thank you thank you very much for hearing me but before that closing this just we take a one view of that particular software this is the view of a ansys software where this are the different types of tools are available hfss q3d circuit maxwell simplorer basically these two are required for us maxwell and simplorer maxwell is providing us the this much of tools my rm expert the prepared geometries are given at here then maxwell circuit some basic circuits are given for the excitation then the maxwell 2d and 3d it's give us the platform for, at where we can design the geometry as per the our ideas and the simpler if you want to design the advanced controller and we communicate with this particular maxwell software then these two softwares are communicate internally and the entire machine is possible to design 
actually in conventional uh, softwares we cannot go for uh, the advanced machine because advanced machine has a uh, two parts one is a machine itself and one is a controller okay so it gives us the platform where we can design the controller as well as the advanced machine so thank you thank you very much for listening me carefully hello yes sir hello sir thank you very much sir for the session now i request ram sir for lot of things ram sir uh, ram sir your mic is muted is yes. it audible now yes sir clear yes okay 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 thank you milin kan sir sir thank you dr nikunja patel sir uh, seriously yes, it was a very wonderful session delivering all aspects of today's softwares regarding machine technology uh, on the behalf of all rngpit family uh, i really put my vote of thanks on these records and thank you once again uh, nikun sir uh, for providing us your valuable time a part of your busy schedule uh we are so wonders that having you as our today webinar expert it really means a lot uh thank you so much sir i would like to also uh, welcome once again chinmay sir for giving us a thank vote of thanks to nikun sir sir chinmay uh, sir please uh, nikun sir uh, there is a question from the yes. participant uh, okay sir, question is on the screen sir is it possible to find out inductance profile of srm yes. through the axis software yes of course actually it's very easily identify because the simple link is given in that particular software that we can easily identify the inductance of the any type of the windings and not only the inductance but any type of the suppose we have the flux we have the flux density then relevant with the flux flux density current we can calculate and we can generate the other parameters also just like a mathematical equation okay uh, sir another question from the uh, faculty member of our college sir which is better yes. software analysis or magnet software for motor analysis okay actually ansys magnets both are the good we cannot uh, claiming that this one is good and this one is bad but which one is user friendly according to me the ansys is provide the different tools it hello hello sir your voice is broke hello sir i think sir is joining yes Hello. so both are the good both are the ah. good but if we, uh, more features are available okay. in ansys okay okay sir controller as well as the motor design both are available on the ansys software okay ek minute karo now uh i request uh, chinmay sir for the ending this session uh, good good evening everyone good evening sir good evening we have experience uh, what is the importance of fem as well as nc software to design the machines and the, uh, to understand the operation of the machines like a uh, complicated machine like srm as well as Brushless motors. So, uh, thank you very much, sir, for providing uh, such information as well as very, very good illustration uh, you presented. Uh, we experienced a very good illustration of your presentation, sir. So, I also invited, sir, whenever this all this over, so please come to our college and uh, benefit to our student uh, with this same uh, topic, uh, which is very useful for them. Definitely, sir. Uh, sir uh, one another question is from the professor tanu uh, jankal 
is it possible okay. to make a new material in ansys as it is possible uh, available in magnet yes yes in ansys also possible if you have the mu the value of mu it means the relevant some values the ansys is demanding and that value is already available in particular production company so we have to just demand it that value we have to feed in the softwares and that particular materials we can generate in our software so it's very easy to generate the any type of material okay thank you sir uh, we covered all the questions and really nice session of you and thank you very much and we are going to end our session uh, good afternoon and good bye good afternoon. thank you sir okay. thank you very thank much. you thank you very much